start the recording. Okay, cool. Okay, well, uh, we are doing some Umerica tonight after your characters have escaped the Fantastiplex. Well, all except for one character who is now the ruler of the Fantastiplex. <laughs> So uh, let's just go through, uh, introduce yourself, anything you want to plug. Tell us what your what body your uh, clone mind is now inhabiting and how you're dealing with it. So Chuck. Hey, Chuck, Defenders of Cobalt. Uh, yeah, I'm Christian. I moved into a mutant body. Um, I am incredibly strong. Um, have a tiny little head. That is kind of shrunken down into my torso. So think, uh, think Wils uh, Wilson Fisk from uh, Spider Verse. Wonderful. Uh, and I also have a prehensile tail. I can't use it to attack, but I can use it to do non-combat stuff. Uh, but really, I just use it as my belt to hold my pants up. That way, people don't realize I have it. Other than being a giant muscular dude with a tiny head in a weird spot, I look pretty close to human. Uh, he's doing okay with it. The extra strength is good. Uh, it did come at the cost of intelligence. So maybe I'm just <laughs> not smart enough to realize that there were any drawbacks, uh, to my new mutant body. <laughs> okay. That's what we're going with. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah I, I got, good. I got a huge strength bonus and I got a decent sized intelligence reduction. Nice, nice. Ashley, I'm going to do you last for reasons. Okay, <laughs> so, fair. Uh, Eddie. Uh, Fergie, uh, for whatever reason, possibly because of a crossed wire, possibly because there just weren't any cloning machines available, got put into the body of a robot. Uh, not just any robot. Fergie is now in a companion bot, um, and that entails everything that you think it does. I'm basically a, 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 a prostitute bot, sort of. Um, <laughs> but it's all right. I mean, you know, uh, the, the German side of me very, very much enjoys that everything runs like clockwork for the most part. And uh, it's, it's all, you know, maintainable. Uh, a well-oiled machine, yeah. So it's, it's good stuff. But um, I do have an extra set of arms now, which is interesting. They do come in handy, both in my chosen profession and the one that goes with the body I'm now in. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes. But uh, it does also mean that I can no longer kind of just uh, slap a Band-Aid on it. Uh, I got to take like a blowtorch and pliers and all kinds of things and, uh, you know, twist away and pull on things and push knobs and pull levers and all that junk to actually fix myself if I get damaged, which um, if I had nipples would uh, make them fully erect just thinking about it. <laughs> you just kind of stuck these little suction cuppy things on. You just have baby on board signs from. Yeah. Baby mm. bottle nipples. Yeah, yeah. So tell the folks what your uh, lucky sign trait ended up being with this nice uh, yeah. new robot body. <laughs> so I'm in a robot body, and when I rolled my uh, my lucky sign, my lucky roll, um, I hate robots. <laughs> 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 so uh, there's there's some complex emotions involved there, um, <laughs> you know, uh, which being that I'm German, I would know nothing about complex emotions about oneself uh, and history and things like that. So there's, there's some weird things going on there. Um, I'm, I'm not really sure how I feel about other robots, maybe because I didn't get to be a cool military bot. I didn't get to be a cool, you know, industrial robot. I'm just kind of a, well, let's face it. This is pretty fitting for Fergie. So we'll see <laughs> nice. how it goes. So Jeremy, uh, what did your character end up in? Well, Chauncey was a gunsmith in his former life, and he's still a gunsmith now as a technologist. The good news is I'm also very good at repairing robots, so I'm going to make sure that Fergie is a finely tuned machine. I will twist your knobs and yank your levers, and I make sure that you are in tip-top shape. Oh, yeah, Chauncey. <laughs> I'm here for you, darling. Things just seem to work out. Uh, Daniel, Daniel, what do you find yourself in? And that's that's really tough to follow. Uh, I, I'm still <laughs> Frank, but the cleric of, uh, of Buddy O'Berger, the god of of what is it? The clown of the clown god of feasting, customer service, and cannibalism. So you know, we'll see how that works out. Probably making you know, lots of food. 
in the irradiated wasteland of America, sometimes cannibalism is the only way to get fresh meat. Just I know. How it, I is. Mean, <laughs> it doesn't necessarily have to be a hamburger. It could be like a Steve burger or a Dave burger. Exactly. We'll exactly. Dave's classic triple. So this motley crew escaped from the Fantastiplex, a place where previously everything they needed was given to them food to eat, clothes to wear, tools with which to ply a trade, everything handed to them by the benevolent dictator of the Fantastiplex. Now they're thrown out into the cruel wastes of America where nothing is given. Most of what you need has to be taken. And were it not for this stray feral urchin that was removed from her pack, the rest of them possibly dead, quite likely maybe she even was able to uh, yeah, the, the feral child was able to uh, take this ragtag party under her wing enough to get them to the Citadel of Scrap where we're going to be starting this but Ashley tell us about the feral urchin that saved these poor poor clones so she's kind of terrifying she's just like think of like a five year old She's like three feet ish tall. She's got blonde hair, but it's been like shaved into a mullet because she doesn't really know how to cut her own hair. And she's just got some, just a big old mouth of teeth. And that's her name. Her name is Teeth. <laughs> um, and she's a feral urchin. She's a wild child. So that means once per combat, I can transform into a very, very pink, uh, monster of her choice at the time nice. so and she doesn't really talk because she's a very young feral urchin um so it's just a lot of like weird grunting and growls so good luck and all those teeth get in the way of enunciation yeah she has like <laughs> she has in my head she has like two sets of teeth in her mouth like wonderful right. So we're going to pick up the game in uh, the Citadel of Scrap. The Citadel of Scrap is one of the few oases in America that has some level of technology, some level of the old society left over. It is a trade hub. There are major railways that go in and out of the Citadel. There's uh, water travel, everything you could want. This is a Citadel of mercantilism. Um, you find yourself here for the last few days. You have no coins really <laughs> to speak of. You use the last of your food to arrive here. Um, you end up in the area of the Citadel called the flats. Now the flats are, <sighs> the flats are a place where all the, uh, the trains stop and they unload their goods. There's lots of warehouses. There's lots of factories. It smells bad. It looks worse. Um, to you guys having come from the Fantastiplex, it actually compared to that wilderness of nothing you just had to trek through isn't so bad. I mean, there's things you understand. I mean, you see metal, you see steel, you see concrete. It's actually a little cleaner from uh, everything broken down and uh, all the detritus of the uh, Fantastiplex. So this to you guys isn't horrible. You have been staying in uh, an impromptu tent that you've stuck up around uh, Riverside just to have some place to get out of the toxic rain uh, and to figure out what you're going to do with your new lot in life. And as you're here scrounging on the sides of the river, trying to find things to eat, things to trade, anything to make a living, you happen upon a flyer. So who amongst you can actually read? It's based well, on your intelligence. <laughs> probably me. All right. All right. So might, of course I can I be. might have one of our highest intelligence scores. I'm not sure <laughs> everybody else has, but what are you at? Fifteen. Oh yeah. Oh fine. You're so much smarter than me. <laughs> What's your character's name, Daniel? Frank. <laughs> Frank. All right. So Frank, <laughs> um piece of paper, it's blown across. Uh, your path as you're out scavenging this morning, trying to find something to eat, stomach's growling. 
you know, you had a meal a few last night before you turned in. Uh, breakfast is looking far away. Pull up this piece of paper, and it's an ad for Danny's Fast Track and Garage. Uh, they are holding Friday night tourneys, that it's called. And um, on the bottom of this is scrawled kind of one of these like want things where you rip off the, the bottom that's got like contact oh, numbers on. So there is um, there's a team, a racing team that is uh, looking for helpers for Friday night. Um, they're offering trade goods and uh, monetary compensation. Now, you oh. guys have been here a couple of days, like I said, and the picture on the flyer, you realize, is right across the river from you. You've been seeing this. You're not sure what it is, oh, but you keep hearing things whizzing around, and you see flags all the time, and you realize by the picture, just right across from you, that's where this place is. Oh, that's going to be Danny's Fast Tracks. So we'll pick up from there. What did you? What have you found to eat today, guys? You're on the bank of a polluted river. <laughs> I mean, I can always uh, try and cast my spell to make some mush for us. You could. Attempt. Unless we want to look, unless we want to look for food first, which is less likely to upset my god. Oh no! Please, please do the thing with the mm, the not uh, poisonous meat, please. The mush. Oh, yes, please. The mush. The meat mush. I'm not even sure if it's that. Six-eyed oh. fish are crawling out of the river, also <laughs> looking for food, beating things with sticks that they hold in their fists. <laughs> I tried to make mush today, and I couldn't. What did you roll? An 11, so just failure. Just failure, but you kept the spell. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I suppose I'll shoot one of those terrifying fish in the face then and we can boil it i i've got you don't worry about this one buddy i'll take care of this and i'm just gonna go up and i'm just gonna start punching out six-eyed fish <laughs> okay <laughs> that way i got my can... cleaver too yeah so i'll just run up and i'll just start fucking like clocking oh start clocking Give my cat fish this is the one we're so, not supposed to curse him. Yeah. Let's run up and just start clocking fish. Demerits, Chuck. Yeah. So the, there's one particularly brutish looking six-eyed fish that's got a big club in its hand. As you come up, it kind of sizes you up and down. And it just takes a club and kind of smacks it in its other palm waiting for you. <laughs> yeah. It's going down. Maybe we... <laughs> you going to take him? Yeah, let's, take let's, him. let's yeah. have a round. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, roll initiative. Let's see who oh, gets okay. to go first. Uh, that's just our agility. So that's a flat D twenty for me. Oh, <laughs> wow! Oh no! Fish gets to go first. Oh fish no! First. I want to participate in this initiative just in case. Go ahead. I figure he's. Uh, you guys are spread out, just trying to find. You know, scavenging for stuff. Seventeen. <laughs> Dang, I almost tied the fish. So let's uh, go. Uh, let's go over a few things here. Uh, oh, no. for armor class is a little different in this game. It is a base ten plus your reflex save. Oh. So what is your armor class, Chuck? Ten. Ten. Yeah, All no right, agility well, modifier. Yeah, <laughs> he's gonna smack you upside the head with mm -hmm. the club. Um. Oh. Yeah, he rings your clock. This is one one tough fish. And you hear him oh, warble no. to himself. It's like, we're going to eat good tonight. <laughs> oh, this fish. God. So who has next on initiative? Da uh, Daniel, did uh, Frank me. do better than... All right. Um, you want to get in on that? Uh, so they're in melee. <laughs> I don't think it's a good idea, but yeah, we'll do it. <laughs> All right. You're going to shoot into melee? What kind of weapon? Uh, I, I'm going to go in with my cleaver. Okay, you're going to go in with the cleaver. All right. Go I, I don't trust myself to shoot into melee. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon to kill Chuck. So, um, probably not. No, no, you do not. You go in. That fish is wily. He whirls around, so he's facing both of you. It's like, ah, you need some help, do you? Or I get taken by the first six eyed fish we see, guys. <laughs> this is why I shoot the fish. <laughs> You don't get within handshake range of those filthy things. All right. So we'll say that just the two of you were close enough uh, for this. So we'll continue on. Um, you know what? 
we re-roll each round. I, I am running so many game systems now that I forget. We do re-roll initiative each round. Oh, wow. All right. Yeah. Oh, wow. Now, that's a question. <laughs> oh, do we? I, it, I'm not remembering this. DCC, You've run no. DCC more frequently than no. me. All right. So then, no. Okay. Yeah, okay. So he goes, he goes that, again. Yeah. Um, hmm. He's going to go. Uh, he's going to take out the big guy first. Uh, so oh, <laughs> he's which... going after you again. Wait, did I get a chance to swing back at him? Oh, you did not. I'm sorry. Okay. Go for it. Yeah. Uh, seeing as he's hitting me with his big stick, I am going to hit him with my ledger, my big book. I'm not <laughs> so great book. at reading it anymore, but it's still a giant book. I hit AC 13. Okay. Uh, Six yeah. damage. Uh, that that fish goes squish. All right. Hey, there we Drunk. go. <laughs> New gotta, books were good for something. You have mm -hmm. a fair amount of mutated uh, protein for the morning. <laughs> All right. Nice. I'll pick up the fish. Can I can I steal that fish's club? Yes, you can. Yes. <laughs> it's a little small in your hands, but that's yeah, fine. You, that's fine. Small club. Now you can, you know, it's made out of a bit of driftwood. Ooh, that's fantastic. All right. All right, all right, all right. Let's cook us some <laughs> fish, boys. I can do that. Excellent. Probably, maybe. <laughs> we believe in you. Yeah. Does somebody want to start a fire? You going to try and do that, Frank? <laughs> Let's. Yeah. Sure. Why not? Going to use a spell or just your uh, survival ability? Um, I do not have any spells that start fires. All right. Yeah. So you're just going to try and start a fire with a little bit of uh, kindling and some twigs. Uh, it's untrained for you. <laughs> oh, is it? <laughs> Yeah. Oh man, I would think I'd be good at that. Listen, if you're back in my early days of cooking, if you're feeling bad, oh, about actually, it, I, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're a cook. You're a cook. Of course, it's trained. You know, you've you got to be able to make fire to cook. So, and <laughs> uh, any particular skill or just a d20? It's just a d20. You're trained, so it's a d20. Okay. Oop, that's not right. Hey, you get a fire right. going and uh, yeah, you start cooking the fish uh, that rolls for the, the cooking as well. Uh, you remove a few eyes, you remove a few bits of tissue that look suspect. You're pretty sure that what's left is edible and probably won't kill anybody. Best we can ask, but for. you cooked it to perfection. <laughs> yeah, as good as it can be, at least. Yep. Let's see. Fairly large, it's enough to it's enough to feed those of you that need to eat. <laughs> yeah, Loki, you don't know how lucky you are. Ugh, I prefer <laughs> the bratwurst anyway. Are you sure you don't want any? No, it's in the it's in the wrong shape. I'll take some leftovers and put it in a tube if it makes you feel better. Ugh, I don't I don't even know if I can digest it now. I'll just slap you around with it a bit. Uh, oh, don't worry there, buddy. I'll go ahead and eat your share for you. Smear some on you. All right. You managed to find some food for the day, so no one's going to starve for today. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, and again, um, you have no idea what you're going to do with yourselves. Um, oh, we can go check out. And yeah. then All your lives, you've just been given everything. So. You know, we can go to Danny's and attempt to show them our amazing skills as I probably use the rest of the paper to season our food. Yeah. <laughs> didn't you didn't you get a thing where we can do a thing? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Well, let's go do go it. Over there. Go over there to work on the things. That, that sounds delightful. Oh, look, we're going to get a job today. We're going to be productive. It's going to be a great day. Great day. <laughs> Might even be able to get some scrap from them. You, you just look over at teeth and she's just gnawing on a pink crayon. <laughs> <laughs> you, Darling, we have fish you can eat. Just, why oh, you... she ate some. She slurped up some eyeballs. You you do you, teeth. You, yeah. you do you. <laughs> yes, you you can take all the eyeball you want. It's like big So you guys up. find you guys find a uh, a crossing that you're able to get across and um this is again early morning. There's a small crowd at the front of this uh, large building. It looks like um, no one's checking anybody. They're just being let in. There's a, 
you've gotten somewhat used to this. There's just a, a very different collection of people here. You're not really used to seeing mutants because, you know, until recently, uh, you were supposed to kill mutants on site. It was what you're supposed to do. Ah. And they're just walking around talking ah. as if uh, they, they have rights to exist. And, uh, ah. you know, in and amongst them are normal humans and uh, lots of robots. It's, it's been a little strange, the adaptation. But you guys come in and uh, you are confronted with this, um, this racetrack. Uh, there are cars already on the track burning the rubber racing uh you notice that several of these cars have armaments on them as well and there are several billboards that are set up just telling you that like they have nightly they have races um monday through thursdays fridays and saturdays uh, they have a special class of races which is the unrestricted class where people are allowed to enter their cars it's kind of a demolition auto duel kind of derby uh winner payout Depends on how much the crowd is, but you get 80% of the, uh, the gate as the winner. Um, mm. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty nice. It's uh, the legalities of it are a little sketchy, but uh, Danny is uh, essentially Danny's closes Thursday. And what happens on the weekends, it's, it's, it's all, you know, record turns us back on it doesn't record anything that goes on uh certainly doesn't pay any taxes to the royals uh, the the three royals are the people that run the citadel of scrap but so yeah you're you're looking at this and um frank this is uh what the piece of paper was talking about this friday night there's apparently a big a big pot they're expecting a big crowd and uh there's a race team that's looking for help and you're looking around there's several yeah, normal looking automobiles on the track, you know, not, nothing that's drawing your attention, but you see that there's a series of garages that line one side of this arena and there's a pit crew working in one. And it's, there's like this, this, this buggy frame and uh, they're trying to trying to figure out how to retrofit what looks like a cannon on the edge of it. And it's just too heavy. just kind of pushing the thing over. And from the, uh, the name that you saw, the little tear off tag uh, that's that's the name that you're seeing across the oh, nice. arch of this garage well, kept one little tag with mm-hmm. me it's Probably thompson the brothers and there are uh two mutants you can tell they're mutants because they got an odd number of arms uh three on one five on the other one of them ah. has more than two eyes um and they yeah, seem to be working on this pathetic looking little buggy Somebody want to go talk to them about fixing? Chauncey's already walking over, like trying to join in because that looks exciting. All right. Chauncey sees tools he's never seen before. (laughs) What do you do? That's not going to balance that way. You have to counterbalance over here. Oh, did you? No. no. What are you doing? Look, we're we're doing the best with what we got. Materials are just few and far betweens. Who's who's use? I, well, I, I came here for a job, but now I need to stop you from mangling this. Good you, Lord. You look, you, you, our ads. You, you're responding to our ads. Oh, I mean, we ate most of them, but yes. Oh, I would do that. That's, that's, that's reconstituted paper. Somebody probably crapped on that before we, anyways. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we need some help. Uh, we got this here buggy. We got to fix up for Friday night. It's tomorrow night. We want to enter it in the race. We got us enough monies to to get in the gate and to get on to the racing strips. But, well, our driver, uh, he lost his head yesterday. Um, not anything violent. Don't get me wrong. He, uh, he misplaced it. And we he haven't been able to find it since. And he can't drive without the eyes that are on the heads. You know you know what I'm saying? We need some help. We need, we need a driver. A driver, I mean... We can mount some of these uh, armaments on it. Maybe we need a gun or two. Um, and to be honest, uh, me and my brother here uh, with the Thompsons, the other Thompson with the head that's missing is kind of the brains of the operation, at least when he's got the head on. And uh, I mean, we don't count so good. So maybe a we manager probably, of some kinds. We've probably got most of those things. Hey, I used to be pretty smart. I can help you out. 
be any good with the publicities. You know, the money we get from how many people come in the gate. So, you know, people that do the the mm. the, the, the twatter and the more the, flyers, the the, the, mm. the palm book and all that. You, you do yeah. any of that stuff? Yeah, I can totally help out with that. You got it. Oh, great! I mean, uh, it, so uh, what? What? What are we paying? Did we say what we were paying? I don't know if we said. If you yeah, win, it's... we get seventy percent of your take. Well, that's a lot. Seventy percent. That's um, like that's like more than halves, right? Yeah, you're right. We'll probably. I'll tell you what. We'll cut you a deal. We'll go and just lower that to. We'll take seventy five percent of your take. Any <laughs> personality check. <laughs> Mm. Are you an eight? <laughs> right. I'll uh, I'll kind of swing in real quick, right. kind of very smooth, suave, kind of slide in like I'm gliding or whatever. Very showmany, you know. Throw the side of my jacket back and kind of stick a hand in the pocket, and uh, and start schmoozing them a little bit. Oh, my friends, if he can do this for you at a very very respectable rate, my friend here, he's okay with accounting, but I'm much better with it. So here's what we do. We take you for 60%. It's, it's much less than, than what he is saying over there. It's, it's much more fair. But what we do, we bring everybody in and they love you. They see everything they want. They see the action, the drama, everybody. They clap, they cheer, they pay to come in. They come back again, most importantly. <laughs> Go ahead, make me, make me a test there too. Okay. And with mine... Um, are these guys friendly or uh, yeah, they're friendly. They'd be considered friendly, friendly, friendly with robots and constructs. Yeah. Okay. So then uh, that means that the I Thompsons should are too dumb to discriminate against anything. <laughs> Fantastic. So that that should mean that I can then use my no die as well for a bonus on my personality mm -hmm. check. Mm -hmm. Plus one. Plus. What was my no die? D3, fantastic. Crap, that is terrible. <laughs> it's actually good enough, though. It's like, I don't know if you said anything different than your small-headed friends there, but you said it real pretty-like, and you got a pretty face, so uh, I guess, I guess... Um, one, 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 little, one little thing, though. I mean, we got to put in the money to get the car on the track in the first place, so... We'll, we'll do the 60s. What you say is you get the 60s, but um, we we have the cost of what we put up front. That, so that so 25 will come out of your 60s. Is that good? You, you, you'll see me kind of. I'll uh, stop 25, for a second. 25 what? Uh, the shell pieces, you, you know, just, you know, that it's 50 for the to get to get the cars on the tracks. It's 50. We got that. We we got fifties. Yeah, that's good with us. Yeah. So you give oh, us yes. back half that, and we give you sixty percent of the take. Now you know that's if we wins. You know if if we if we place one two three, there'd be some money. Um, anything less than that, there's no money. So sixty percent of nothing is what? Nothing. Ten? Nothing. No, Fifty dollars. No, nothing. <laughs> nothing's. No, okay. Nothing's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is what we got right now. Nothing's. I don't tell okay. them that. Plus, don't tell them that. <laughs> yeah. Well, this I, year I buggy is what we got to works with. Uh, we got some parts. We got some. Uh, we got some weapons. Don't know if they they work real well. They, they seem to be like lopsided and not not fitting so good. Um, she's fast. She's not got a lot of armor though. So, um, you's got some armor to wear. Well, yeah, like got I got some a little bit. Yeah, I, I got some armor. Okay. Okay. Just okay. show me the scrap okay. and the guns you've got, and well, I'll this, do what this, I can. So as you understand, this is the unrestricted class. This means that there's going to be shootings, there's going to be violence, and they're going to be like people trying to board your your vehicle in the middle Ooh, of the things. That sounds fun. Um, <laughs> sometimes spectators throw grenades. It's uh, it's it's kind of oh. dangerous. Oh. And we got no health care plans. I can handle that. Eddie, he just kind of hoses down the track afterwards, and hmm. you know, nobody says nothing to the law. How good a driver is your brother? He's the best. When he's got his head on, he's the best. He's won the last 
however many this is, that's a times, lot. Times he's won. Uh, not with his cars, though. It was a better car. We think maybe his head's in the trunk of the car. Car went down in the river, though, so we, we're not sure. Oh, we I was go just about to ask. Oh. Maybe Can you show us where we're at in the river? Can we pull oh, yeah. that car out of the river and then use that for parts? Oh, it was kind of a flaming wreck before it went into the rivers. And, and, and you know, so we're kind of happy that the rivers were going to put out the flames. But the rivers is kind of polluted, you know, and it just made everything explode. Like, so it kept burning as it went down. You could still see it burning. Is, uh, I'm going to guess his head's probably not in a usable shape. Oh, no, no, it, it must be. I mean, because he'd be dead now if the head was, was, was gone. I mean, the heads can breathe underwater. He's got fins and stuff, but if it oh. weren't working anymore at all, he'd be dead. Okay. okay. Well, yeah. I mean, we know doctors or anything. All right. So we got to get it. We, we got a deal, though, because cause we got the car. Yeah, we got a deal, man. We, we got the shell pieces to put the car on the road. Let's shake now, on You're it. following me, right? You're following, following me it. here, right? We just oh, need yes. somebody to drive the cars. I'll It'd put a, be helpful if people could, you know, hype it up. Get some I'll put a, to come I'll in. put a, I'll put a gentle hand kind of on the back of his shoulder and shake his hand with the other hand and sort of uh, 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 go ahead and use one of my spare arms to flick back my jacket and stick that hand in the pocket. <laughs> and uh, and I'll just say, yeah, it's so good, my friends. We, right. we have a good deal. So do you want us to get your brother's head or try to, or do you just want one of us to drive? Well, it's up to you. We, we, uh, the, the car goes on the track tomorrow night. So you got, I don't have enough fingers for that okay. many hours, but tomorrow mm -hmm. night, car goes on the tracks. Okay. All right. Well, okay. I personally want to spend as much time as possible in the car. I know Fergie is just a fantastic people person. Well, she's all stripped down now. You can take her on the track. She runs just fine, but she got no weapons. She got no armor. She got an itty bitty gas tank. You you said you did have some spare parts on the side, though, correct? If you look into the garage, they actually have shelves of parts. Oh, it, it's all yes. like it's from different cars. It's from. Who knows what? But there are parts yes. everywhere in there. <laughs> All right. When you gets to keep the scrap, and our brothers, he's won at least this many times. All right. At least, yes. at least this many times. Got to lots of scraps. All right. So cool. All right. So Chauncey, you're going to be working. Mm hmm. Uh, I figure Fergie squared. You can go do hype work. Yep. Some of us need to go try and, you know, see if we can rescue the head. And if we can't rescue the head, one of us has to drive. Ah, uh, yeah. So. None of us have ever <laughs> driven before. It's probably a bad idea. I'm a child. <laughs> I don't think you want me driving. Or maybe you just have that crazy blind luck that could do it. I vote for the child. Is this vehicle? <laughs> that's a great. Is the vehicle? Uh, is it a, a manual or an automatic transmission? Oh, it's it's definitely automatic. What okay. would uh, be the skill check for that? Um, it is well. If you've never driven before, <laughs> it's, it's going to be non-skilled. But you add your agility bonus to it. And then okay. the handling class of the car and how fast you're going. Oh, God. Let's go yeah. get that, so that hit. The would you practice driving? <laughs> Since the technology is skilled with motor vehicles, would they potentially be considered skilled for driving? If you take some time to actually drive it around the track and get used to it, I'll say yes, that you could do it as a skilled test. Probably having it as a skill check would be really handy. Mm -hmm. uh, well, you work yeah. on that. I'm going to go get the damn head. Mm. I'll go with you to get the head. That's probably better. All right. We got a plan. <laughs> so we're splitting the party. Splitting uh, the right party. Away. <laughs> many, right away. Many ways. In many directions. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Help you're prepared, Bert. 
<laughs> yeah, okay. Well, let's let's uh let's go fishing for a head first. All right. Uh, he tells you which part of the uh, citadel to go to uh, as far as where the uh, the boat went or the, the, the car went down. Um, and what it is when you guys, who's, who's going there? Actually? I'm going. So Chuck, your Dan's character's going. going. Who else? Dan's going. I'll yeah. probably go to help lead the way. Okay. All right. Good enough. Uh, so what you see is a pier and it's lined with all kinds of colorful boats. And there's a big building on the edge of the pier. That's uh, Rudy's adventure escape is what it says. And um, there's a two headed mutant out front and he's uh, selling uh, time on these boats. You see some of the boats are doing parasailing where they're dragging people behind on skis and a parachute. And there are some people that are going on board with uh, diving equipment and such. And you see that there's all kinds of advertisement of, uh, for what Rudy's Adventure Escape offers. So they do, uh, they do family rentals of just uh, a nice day on the, on the water on a boat. Uh, you can rent diving equipment. Uh, there's actually like a list. Of, there's a brochure of all the things that have been found uh, in this bit of water here. And there's like unexplored buildings um, that people have gotten to and gotten rich from, et cetera. Uh, so they've also got the prices of uh, what it costs to rent a boat, what it costs to rent diving gear and all this. And he's doing a pretty brisk business. But uh, yeah, so one of the Thompson brothers would have came with you and he says, yeah, it's, it's uh, went down in there. Um, you know, it's kind of private property. Kind of forgot to tell you about that. Uh, uh, yeah, Rudy there. Um, I don't know. I mean, he may not charge you just to, to take a dip in yourself. You, you don't see any gills, though. You, can you can you breathe under the water? I can't. Oh, doesn't mean I oh. won't try. Well, uh, yeah, you know, uh, <laughs> I, I would check with Rudy before you go into the water around where the cars went down, because you know Rudy kind of got he's got dibs on this area. Uh, okay. uh, he's a good guy. He doesn't overcharge. Uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes not. I. You don't know. We know. I, honestly, I can't be seen with you if you talk to Rudy's because we kind of stole some petrol for him once, and he doesn't know which oh. of his brothers did it. But he kind of doesn't like any of us. As oh, a matter that's... of fact, I think it was Rudy who shot the car as we going down and caused it to blow up and explode and stuff. <laughs> Might have been Rudy. So maybe uh, maybe I should make myself scarce. Yeah, you go I'll on. Make it easier on you. We'll handle uh, this. You can't Something. miss it, though. If you find the head, probably in the trunk, he's a handsome fella. So look for a handsome head. A ah, handsome head with gills. You got it. <laughs> <I'm sure>. Wait. <laughs> so we're looking for a head, but we don't know for sure that this guy's a robot. He's got gills. They said he's got gills. They're mutants, and his head is off his body. Uh huh. Yeah, I mean, we're probably wasting our time. He's probably dead. They said the rest of his body was still alive. Yeah, Unverified. but they're also really dumb. Listen, yeah. <laughs> like, what if it's just like you know decaying in the corner, and like the last like bits of movement as your body dies, they think he's alive. Maybe it's all like. Teeth's internal monologue thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe yeah. we can ask him. God, to take these it guys to are it. stupid. Why did I save them and bring them here? Yeah, because she doesn't know like talking too well. But you know, she's got some brain. She's not stupid. Teeth is actually she a mental this five giant. She just can't talk because of the teeth. She needs uh -huh. a dentist. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, what was the name of the younger brother from the Wild Thornberries? That's what it comes out as. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Can you talk yeah. for me whenever I need to talk? <laughs> oh, All right, I'm going to go talk to this guy. Listen, if it's a dead head in there, then we got us a new hood ornament. If it's a living head, then we've got us a driver. Well, at least the head of one. They've got the rest of the body. Right. And, and Teeth is going to look at them to <laughs> confirm, like, you have the rest of the body, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. He's, he's up trying to eat breakfast today, but it's kind of hard to chew and he ain't got no mouth. He just kept shoving the thing around where his neck hole was. Oh, he was moving still. I see. Of course said, he's moving yeah. still. We told That's you he's still alive. He just, he just lost his head. All right, I'm going to go talk to Rudy. 
right. So the uh, multi-headed mutant is uh, he greets you coming up. They both head give you just award-winning smiles. He's like, "Hey, how you doing?" I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I got a really odd favor to ask you, and I have no money. So just so we're on a level playing field here, like like he doesn't skip a beat. The, the smile still there. It's like, "Hey, I I I admit I like the honesty, kid." Right out of the gate, telling me you got no money. At least I know how much I can ignore you, but I'm willing to hear you out. All right, listen. We're looking for a head that was in a car that went into the river and exploded. The head's supposed to be in the trunk. Uh, he's looking around. He's like, look, uh, I'm not saying I know what happened to that car or anything, but uh, what do you have to to do with it i mean he's he's looking you over it's like you're not with the police or anything we are not with the police we're trying to run a scam on those the the three brothers that run oh hell i'm car. in i am in all right listen. what do you need <laughs> we need to get the head that's what we need like we need whatever gear we need to get down there and try and retrieve that head and i'll tell you what if we find anything anything down there anything besides the head it's all yours <sighs> Well, I'll tell you what. I've got some scuba gear. I can show you how to use it. It takes 10 minutes All to right. use it. I mean, you might still drown, but 10 minutes to use it. Uh, but, you know, I, I rent this stuff out. I got to pump the air in there and everything. So I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. To screw over the Thompsons, I'm willing to let you borrow a tank and a mask and some fins. But uh, I, need, I, need, I need you to bring back something. Okay. Yeah. If you find something valuable down there, you find something valuable in the car. I don't care, but you need to bring me back something more than just his head. You got it. Now you're a big old boy, uh -huh. tiny old head though. So how how do your lungs work in there? You got kind of a small opening, but you got tiny a big body. Head, like, listen, it's like um, like a balloon. When the you just okay. have so let's just say that I'm going to guess you need a lot of air. Then. I need a lot of air. So uh, let me put you on one of these two tank jobbies. Mm -hmm. Just you? You ever dive before? No. This is the first time I've really seen water. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. How does water work? Uh, he, so he had picked out this like two-cylinder tank, and then when you're telling him that you don't know anything about water, he lays it down and takes one that looks a little bit more beat up. It's like, <laughs> I... Yeah, yeah. This um, is the one for you. Yeah. Do you know how to swim? I'm guessing not. No, I think I sink real good. Okay, let's go with that. Mm -hmm. uh, he pulls out this weight belt. He, look, okay. he weighs and he looks at you and he, he grabs a couple more. <laughs> like, okay. Um, car went, you say, third wharf over. Car went down a little bit further out from that. All right. I want you to put these weights on, and it'll make you sink like a stone. All right. And you can kind of just walk around the bottom. Now, when you're ready to come up, uh, you look like a strong fellow. But if you if you can't quite get up, then go ahead and take the weights off, I guess. You got it like here's a... Here's how the tank works. Okay. All right. So make me an intelligence check. Sure thing. 19. Yeah, you nice. get it pretty quickly, actually. Uh, so Heard of rocks gives you a before. mask, a couple of tanks. He tells you, uh, uh, you got maybe three hours. You got about three hours worth in there, give or take. I mean, you're a big boy. Plan on two. Plan right. on two. All right. All right. You want me to come so in there with you or you, with want to, you want me to stay out? Dan and Teeth. So yep. Frank and Teeth. All right, Dan and Frank and Teeth. So are you want to do anything else as you're, he's strapping up these tanks to himself now? Uh, He's willing to 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 let you guys have some tanks too if you want to go down. Um, uh, do we? I'll give. No, it but a I shot. want something from each of you, though. You, know, you got to bring oh. me back something. I, I don't know if we're gonna find that much and explode car. Listen, if you all watch my back up above, I'm cool going down alone. I've got okay. this brand new club, so if something's down there, I'll just knock Club it, it over the head. Yeah, Did you say that? We'll have food too. Is there something we need to do to pump air down to him? Nope, not with the tanks. Okay. Nope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. scuba tank. Yeah, um, Teeth doesn't want to die, so she's gonna. All right. She's. I don't think she knows how to swim. She doesn't like to shower. 
So we probably we're... doesn't like water in the first place. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's like. All right. Yeah, it looks like you check out on the equipment pretty good. So uh, just watch out for them, uh, those uh, water snakes, and you'll be all right. All right. Uh, he, he just like he just says that in passing as he pushes you off the wharf. There I go. <laughs> the do what now? Blum, uh, the water blum, snakes. Blum, 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 uh, you know blum, blum. this the misery here. It's what you're, you're new uh, here, I guess. This, this uh, yeah. is the misery. That's what the name of this river is, and uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. you know, giant water vipers. Yeah, it's just a thing. It just comes. With Do they it. tend to be on like the top or the bottom? Uh, all around, all around. I mean, all of it. You know, all of all it. of it. All okay. of it. I mean, it's not like they. Oh, there's a lot of them. I mean, just every once in a while, you know. I I, I might I might lose uh, I might lose a guest once in a while. Every you know, once hey, in a while is like all they, the time. Sign us. off on it. I know you. Can I high five him? My hands are clean. You, what do you want to do? Nothing. No teeth. She was saying. Oh, I want to high five him when he's oh. like, "Yeah." Sometimes I lose a customer. She's like, "Nice." Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's profit other than losing equipment, I suppose. Well, yeah, this equipment's expensive, man. Uh, this is how I make my bread and butter here. I rent out the equipment. Sometimes they don't come back. I mean, all the stuff is like. Uh, you do notice that all of his tanks and all of his equipment are like garishly colored. It's like, I know what's mine, so, you know, I'll get it back one way or the other. There you go. All right. And I go. I or right. I'm in already. I'm, I'm sinking yeah, to the bottom. Are, you're, you're sinking to the bottom of the misery. <laughs> there we go. All right. Oh, wow. So that's what a rock is like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you you sink. Just, I've never you seen all the belts before on. either. Uh, you didn't ask about light. Uh, no, I but didn't. Oddly enough, uh, the car seems to be still burning underneath <laughs> <laughs> at the bottom <laughs> of the river. Uh, so there's some light. At least you're figuring that's what that bright light down there is. Hey, let's just head towards that. Yeah, I go right to it. <laughs> okay. uh, let's uh, let's transition over. Um, actually, before we go, Teeth and Frank, are you going to do anything other than just wait for him to come back up? I mean, I suppose I'll keep watch for giant horrible vipers. You know, okay. Maybe I can shoot at one or something. Ah. Rudy likes kids. Rudy comes out with a fishing pole. Hands it oh. <laughs> oh, she is stoked. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> nice. All right. So back at the track, um, Chaucie, uh, you and uh, Fergie, uh, looking over what you've got here, the, the base of the car isn't bad. It's it's essentially it's a dune buggy. It's it's fast. It's got good grippy wheels for the track that you're going to be running on. The biggest problem of it is really light, and it's completely exposed. Like it's just a cage with a motor and wheels. Well, I've always been a fan of saying that the best offense is more offense. Clearly, we need to design the guns first. And then we could put the armor around it. You don't do the armor first because then you might not have enough mobility for your guns. Guns, then armor, or maybe guns and then more guns. But first, guns. Oh, if it doesn't, if you use the gun and the gun doesn't work, then you use more gun. That's why I love you, Fergie. Mm. Yeah, I you have so many guns that they're actually armor. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, the guns on top of the guns, and then they can't through the guns. They can't get to us. I remember seeing a, a magazine once called Dacca. I think we need more Dacca. More Dacca, Dacca. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, right. Chauncey's starting off just looking to see. That's his first priority: is decking this thing out with weapons. Sure. Um, roll me a luck check. Okay. In theory, here we go. Whoa, that's good, right? Yeah, one on electric is good. Fantastic. Yes. Yeah. Um, sorry, just answering there. Uh, so, not bad. You see a uh, a shelf that has various grenades, uh, <gasps> meant for somebody inside to throw. Uh, as far as vehicle mounted, there's actually a turret machine gun. It, it doesn't look to be in the greatest repair. And uh, it's, it's technology-wise, it's fairly new, fairly modern, so it's light. You're pretty sure you could mount that on the buggy without causing any too many problems. 
you've also got various sharp implements that you could strap to the wheels or to the front or to the back. Uh, really, it's a, it's a matter of balancing out what, how much weight are you willing to put on it, which will reduce its uh, its speed. And that's really what you're looking at here. So you've got some nice toys to put on, uh, but anything that you put on is going to reduce the, the speed that it naturally has. And it's pretty, it's pretty fast. I think the, I mean, the, the turret mounted gun has to go on. <laughs> that's just, that's a given. And then I think just some, I, I think that, and I don't want to burden it down too much. I think if we can get the turret mounted gun and then like a good set of blades around it to prevent people from boarding. And then we can just toss grenades. I feel like that's a pretty good starting point. Okay. So you yeah. want no armor, but you want to go with a uh, turret mounted guns um, and a spot for somebody to, to use it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, and you want to put some, uh, some blades around on the cage so that it mm. would keep people from boarding. So yeah. I'm hearing. Yeah, if there's if there's room to put armor after that, maybe a little, but it, like that's not Chauncey's mindset. Chauncey's mindset is like guns, blades, violence. Okay, um, maybe so that's all kind of light. Armor around Vez and grenades. Building a glass cannon buggy. Yep. This is why you don't let your technologists be chaotic. <laughs> oh, well, you can take a, a metal box and you can put your grenades inside that metal box if you wanted. I have a great idea, Shansi. I, w- I want what to hear it. What if put the armor on the driver? That's fine. Yes, yeah, so we do need to keep the driver Just a little protected. bit, like around maybe sort of the midsection between the belly button and the bottom of the thighs. Uh, yeah, there is I'm some so piecemeal, glad you're here. There is some piecemeal armor on the shelves. Uh, you've got like football shoulder pads. You've got a couple of like football helmets. Uh, I'm you've thinking got just some... like thick, uh, unwieldy, like medieval chastity belt. <laughs> <laughs> just protect the uh, the important bits. Just oh, like Fergie, uh, you would think of a chastity belt. Yeah, yeah. It's just it's it's the uh, the the. <laughs> <laughs> right, I tell you what, Fergie. Since you were kind of looking around to see what you could do, why don't you make me a luck roll and let's see what's available? All right. Yeah, oh, we do this now. Oh, oh. So that's terrible! All right. So uh, there are bits and pieces of armor. At best, they're going to be uh, feeble. Uh, so, so in this game system, feeble actually means the armor is it's more apt to break. Instead of rolling a one, if you roll a one or a two, it degrades. Ooh. Okay. Uh, but there's enough there to get several dice step worth of armor. And it's up to you as to how much you want to layer on. It's like you start with the jock strap and then you put on the leather thong and then you put on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There has to, there has to be at least two layers, you know, cause like if you go to a strip club, like it's never just one layer, right? There's always a, there's a garter <laughs> belt. There's another thing on there. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that then we need some tassels. There need to be tassels, the, but the, they won't be tassels because it's metal. They'll be like tiny propellers, and you can just sit now, there. And- it's actually perfect. I found some razor wire in the corner over there. Why don't we put? I'm going to put razor wire tassels on this card just for you, Fergie. Oh, oh, you know me so well. Can that be on the wheels? So as they spin. Of course, I would put it on the wheels. What's better than razor wires spinning wildly? Well, you, well, you get the idea that this is like a t- entertainment factor is a big deal. So, like, yes. uh, yeah. So, so the things that you're talking about might actually help improve the gate. Yeah. Perhaps we should keep some paddles in the back of the dune buggy for the good times. Intermission. Done and done. All right. Uh, so, how much? Uh, uh, well. You actually haven't decided yet uh, who's going to be driving and who's going to be manning the gun or anything until you find out about the head. So you guys spend mm-hmm. uh, several hours going through, picking through parts, mm-hmm. uh, putting together a fabulous costume. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, meanwhile, back at the misery, um, <laughs> Christian is, uh, is that your character's name, Chuck? Sorry. Yep. You're right. Yep. Yep. Is uh is walking across the bottom of the misery, and uh, the light that you're attracted to is light. in fact a flaming car. Nice. It's it's really badly 
he's got bullet holes all through it. It looks like it, it actually crashed into something first because the front end of it is accordion. Um, and it's still on fire somehow. That's great. Um, Trunk's like, still intact. <laughs> is the trunk on fire? The whole car is on fire. All right. It's just kind of, the, it's weird, pale green fire uh, that the water just doesn't seem to put out. All right. Uh, I want to, I want to pry that trunk open first things first, but I don't want to do it with my hand because that's right. fire. So do I see like a bit of scrap or something that I could use as like some kind of like pry bar? Make me a look check. Sure. Oh, yeah. Roll the one. Okay. Yeah, you find a piece, a couple of pieces, a long rebar. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So if you want to try and lever that trunk open with the rebar, go ahead and give me a strength check. Sure thing. 21. Just now that yeah, I would you. say that does it. Uh, you don't just open the trunk. You The trunk goes flying away, still on fire as it kind of floats away on, on the water. And inside the trunk, you're seeing several uh, gym bags, you know, like the duffel bags, yeah. so several gym bags zipped up and closed. Um, the inside of the trunk isn't on fire. I'll grab those gym bags. You just grab all of them. Just gonna grab all of them. Like sure. Throw them over my shoulder. Uh, any <clears throat> sign of the head? Uh, well, uh, do you want to open up the gym bags while you're down here? They look like they're watertight. Like they they've got uh, no seals on them. I don't want to. Can I? Do I have the strength to swim up to the dock? What is your strength? Twenty two. Okay, yeah, yeah, you can. All right, I'll go up to the dock. I'll throw the bags up there, and then I'll climb up. And I want to open them up. Up here. Okay, sure. Um, I want you to make me an initiative roll. Sure thing. I got a sixteen. Okay, you see, pale sinuous ribbons is what they look like, kind of waving through the water, heading in your direction. They're thick, but they're really flat. Uh, they're far enough away that you're not quite sure what the heck they are. Tapeworms. <clears throat> oh, God. Can I make it to the surface before they get to me, or do I need to? With the initiative roll, um, that, that's kind of what I wanted to see is how, okay. how fast you're moving. You're swimming pretty good. So you get to the you pop up, you grab a hold of the, uh, the wharf, you pull yourself up, and uh, Frank, you're kind of watching. Uh, for these things and you see Frank pop or you see Christian pop up and you see these white ribbons that are trailing after him and he pulls himself up, pulls his flipper up just in time as these things kind of breach out of the water just a little bit. And uh, they've got these round kind of lamprey like mouths, this ringed with teeth. You don't see eyes anywhere. And uh, so they just come up and they arch back down. You got out of the water just in time. And he's Frank's carrying these three duffel bags and he's kind of plops onto uh, the plank on, on the wharf here. That was almost bad. That was close. Let's see what's in here. See if it's enough to pay our dues. Uh, teeth. If you're still fishing. <laughs> yes. So those, uh, those worm like things seem to be attracted to your bait, and you get a strike, and psh, it grabs, uh, it, it takes the bait, and it starts running with it. Uh, make me a strength check. Okay. <laughs> a 20. Ooh, oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, you might be fine. Oh. You are fine. Uh, it like it lurches for just a moment. You weren't you quite ready for how big of a pull it was, but uh, you kind of just muscle it back and you start heaving and start <laughs> pulling it in. Do I get it um, on shore? Uh, you're still working on it, but it hasn't pulled you off into the water. So yeah, you're you're working on pulling it in. Um, Frank, yeah, you said you're opening the bags. I was. I didn't open. help. Yeah, I was going to open the bags. Yeah. All right. So when that happens, friend. you guys hear Teeth make like the first noise you've ever heard from her, and she screeches. Looks like she caught something. Oh wow! Wow, we're <laughs> gonna be. She's fighting it. <laughs> Does that sound like a happy sound or? A sound no, that's sound? like come hold me. <laughs> okay, oh. I'll go help. No, you can okay. open. Frank, you watch these bags. I'll go pull her in. I'll watch the bags. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, b- with the two of you, you're actually, you have more than enough strength. The pole is made out of just this incredibly strong material. It's monofilament wire. It, it holds it just fine. You guys land one of these 12 foot long albino white, who knows what. <laughs> oh. And you bring it up onto the wharf. It's thrashing around. It, you don't see eyes on it anywhere. It just got this like sphincter like mouth that just in <laughs> the teeth in it like, kind of rotate. Instead of like uh, doing this, they uh, rotate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll club it in the head. <laughs> Give it a good old bonk. Just... Okay. All right. Uh, Frank, are you checking into the uh, duffel bags? Yeah, I'll check into the bags. Cause I feel like I might know what's valuable or not valuable in them. All right. Uh, I tell you what, roll a D3. First one you open. Oh, that That's our only mistake. It's making me roll dice. I'm sorry. One. Okay. Uh, first one you open is uh, it's stuff. It's stuff with gym socks, some uh, really sweaty, disgusting smelling gym shorts, jock strap, and a head. When the jock strap is kind of wrapped around it, and he's t- trying to spit it out, <laughs> he's blinking several times, looking at you. <laughs> I'm just gonna close that bag right back up. <laughs> <laughs> But just putting the zipper real slow. And yeah, it's like, <laughs> nothing but just shitty laundry in this one. <laughs> All right. Uh, second one you open. Um, roll me a D2. Okay. So, uh, Christian and Teeth, uh, you're looking at this, this huge, long thing and thinking about how much all that meat, if it's, mm-hmm. if it's uh, edible. Uh, it stopped thrashing around after you beat it a few times. You can turn around to look, and Frank has uh, opened one of the bags, and you're seeing him from a you know, back view. You see the back of his head. The last time you ever saw him. His face is illuminated by a golden light. Oh, Frank seems to be oh. just staring. He's like not moving. Uh, make me a personality check for Frank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> uh so frank you've opened this bag and just like uh your your mind is you're it, you're gone your body is just kind of frozen staring into this bag and there's this golden light pouring out you're not exactly even sure what it is you're looking at and your mind just takes a little holiday a roll that only i can make <laughs> <laughs> oh i'm gonna go uh it's like at the end of kelly's heroes when they get to the gold frank uh frank oh shit all right um knows that movie i'm gonna go up and uh i'll look at the glowing light <laughs> give me a personality check 11 okay um so inside the case is some kind of uh square box that's got like vacuum tubes and blinking lights and uh, the vacuum tubes are on and they're just giving off this golden light and you see like there's a little globe in the middle with mist in it and you see frank you see frank's face in there just kind of looking around he's like touching the glass meanwhile frank's body is just frozen staring into the bag oh i really fucked up didn't i that's real bad that's real bad uh shit Oh, I'm not supposed to say naughty words here. Oh, <laughs> poop. Um, um, well, Frank's got a new body. Okay, let's just throw the old one into the water. <laughs> <laughs> just kick him over the edge. No, I'll. Uh, <laughs> we might need to take this back to the rest of the crew because I don't know what to make of it. Uh, what's in the third bag? Uh, you open up the third bag and, uh, there's delicate, like ivory cups, like a full tea service wrapped in uh, cloth. All right. That's our payment. We're going to take, I'll carry Frank's bag. I'll carry the duffel bag with the head. I'll carry the bag with the weird device. And we're going to turn in the scuba gear and the, uh, so what'd you bring me? Hey, here. Are you successful? What do you got for me? I got something I think you're going to like, because I've never seen anything quite like it. And I hand him over the duffel bag full of the china set. 
he looks at it as like, wow, okay, hey, uh, this is actually pretty good. Um, hey, you know, uh, you know, uh, I got a reputation, Pete, for being a good guy, so I don't want to, I don't want to jerk you over here. This is really good. So, uh, let me give you some cash too. Let me give you I'm, some cash. That's amazing. You're my best friend now. Thank you. <laughs> Keith uh, wants yeah, his so, attention, so she screeches for him to look at her with her catch as she's just holding the fishing rod like above her head yeah. in victory. It's like, yeah, those are, those are pretty good eats. Uh, they got a poison gland a couple of feet down from the throat. You want to make sure you cut that out first. Okay. But That's otherwise, they're pretty good eats. Good to know. Uh, here, he, so he gives you a couple of uh, like small... Uh, jerry cans full of gas so these are uh, petrol points so uh okay you get about you know about 20 gold or 20 gps um oh good yeah 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 that's uh that's fair uh yeah anything else you found down there did you find the head we got we got the head we got the head we're gonna listen we got this great thing they they're gonna win the thing, and we've tricked them out of all of their damn money. <laughs> oh yeah, if uh, if that's uh, if that's Mikey Thompson's head in that bag, he's a good driver. Yeah, uh, I guess you guys are doing this thing Friday night, then, right? Yeah, we're gonna do it Friday night. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, um, hey, yeah, I think I think I'd like to see that. I yeah, think I'd like to see that. Come yeah, on by. listen, root for us because you know if we win, they're getting screwed. <laughs> I, I gotta know. I gotta know. Like, his brothers are pretty dim. Yeah, How, they are. What What did you negotiate? I gotta know. Uh, we're getting sixty five percent of their cut. Eh, not bad. Not yeah. bad. You know, seeing as we don't have really any skin in it, they're putting up all the fees. They're putting up the car. We're just showing up, retrieving a head, and getting all their money for it. Hey, you know. Um, there's lots of bets going on these things on Friday nights. Uh, you, uh, you and your crew are helping them do this, then, right? Yeah. Um, you guys any good? I mean, what what are your odds here? I've never I mean, driven I, I, a car you gotta, before in my life. I, I my think uh, first time really seeing one. All right, all right. Uh, hmm. Well, well, let's see. Let's see. The Stranglers are playing that night. Uh, you got to watch out. They got this. Uh, tank like thing they drive really well heavily armored kind of slow though they won a few times turtle gang's gonna be out there and they uh they drive this like mammoth thing that's got like a coppola strapped to the back of it it's, it's like, like a, a creature cannon. yeah 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 it doesn't okay. have to have wheels you just got to get it on the track it's got to move on its own that's the only rule there all right yeah so and the bad news uh so they got a they got this uh little hover bike like thing it's real fast it's got nothing in the way of armor but uh it's got these laser like things you don't want to get these guys behind you oh that's good um, to know that's good to know yeah yeah i think i'll you mind if i stop by before the action start to kind of get a look at your Oh, that'd be fantastic, kinda, man. Kind of yeah. figure the odds. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, that's... I wanna I wanna hedge my bets a little. Yeah, fine by me. Absolutely. All right. Perfect, perfect. Hey, good doing business with you. Absolutely. Hopefully we can do some more in the future. Listen, if you ever yeah. need a giant, massive dude to go down in the water and retrieve crap for you, I'm always looking for a paycheck. Hey, and kid, you can keep that fishing rod. Looks like you did some good work with it. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so uh all right so you got frank thrown over one shoulder three duffel bags and teeth is just she's only managed to like get like the head and like a foot or two over the shoulder she's just dragging the rest of it's like 12 feet behind her <laughs> yeah <laughs> so that's how you arrive back at the racetrack then uh in the meantime um let's see how well you have done putting things together getting this uh vehicle set up so chauncey why don't you roll me a tech roll here um let's say let's see what would this fall under better uh i'm trying to focus on weapons yeah you're focusing on the weapons okay you can do the weapon tinkering then yes right back yeah, the only armor you're really doing is personal body armor and we'll let fergie put together the outfit <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. Please don't suck. Did not suck. 
Okay. You got it mounted just fine. Uh, it's got a couple of cans of ammo there. It's belt fed. Uh, you got it on a good turret so that you could get, uh, you know, you can get a good wide range. You basically just can't turn it all the way around. So like mm-hmm. you can't fire behind you, but you can get to both sides arcs and the front arc just fine. Um, you got to set up so that they didn't have any control parts. So you have to have somebody manning it. Mm-hmm. Which is going to add a little bit of weight, but since you uh, have gone with no armor, um, it hasn't really changed uh, the speed too much. The handling is going to go down just a little bit. You're less aerodynamic, but other than that, you think you did a good job. Also with that roll, you've checked the car over. Um, you think that you, unless you want to make a lot of pit stops, you probably want to get put a bigger gas tank on it. Uh, that's up to you if you want to, but it's got a tiny fuel tank and you're figuring well, you're going to have to make a lot of pit stops to refuel if if it goes on very long. Well, I suppose that sometimes in order to do more shooting, you have to keep driving longer. It's not my favorite thing to work on, but fine. Yes, okay. We could potentially just put those gas cans that uh, Christian brought back right on. Just run a hose from them into the yeah, gas. You could do that. Oh. You could just carry the, the jerry cans with you. Fuel on the go. Quick and dirty. Just strap them in somewhere with, with a hose running in between. Hmm. I have some other ideas, but it's a little bit meta. I'll wait until later. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, so Christian and Teeth come back. Frank slumped over uh, his shoulder. And he's got these three enormous, well, two now enormous uh, gym bags that he's carrying. Teeth has her fish. Yeah, and Teeth That's is carrying That's 12 feet long. 12 foot long fish. Okay. okay. I'm three feet tall. What oh. is it with you and these fish? <laughs> we, uh, we got a problem. So Frank is, um, you know, Frank is in a bad place, right? Right, right. So if you look in this one bag here, now be careful when you look in it, because it's got like weird light. There's a machine with the ball inside, and Frank is inside the ball. I know that sounds like it makes no sense, but when you see it, it's going to make, in my description, is going to be perfect. You're like, oh. You're just going to hear me shout from somewhere off in the garage, what about Frank's balls? Uh, <laughs> Frank's balls are in a bag that we found in the river. <laughs> a weird place for them to be, hey. but I suppose if you have to wash them. Yeah, yeah. Um, who wants to look at this thing and <laughs> figure out? Oh, we got the head too, and I'll pull the head out of the duffel bag, and I'll pull the jock strap out of the mouth. <laughs> Oh, that smells so bad. Oh. Yeah. What's the weird machine in the other bag, and why did it eat our friend? Oh, I have no idea. I got it for payment. Uh, looked like it'd be worth something. Okay, it ate our friend. Oh, he looked at it. Yeah. Yeah, that happens. Uh. Can we? Can we? You know, can we control Z that mess? Can we make it not do that? <laughs> uh, I, I, I really have no idea. Um, like, I, uh, they, they told me it was dangerous to look at. I was going to try and sell it. Uh, hey, uh, where are my brothers? Um, are they here? You know, they're, they're, no. Okay. They, uh, they're not so bright. And uh, they're not trying to make a little money on the side, you know. This whole racing thing is kind of their thing. I'm trying to get enough money together to buy citizenship, and oh. uh, you know, and uh, once I got citizenship, I was going to disown their asses. So, uh, hey, can we uh, keep this between us? Hundred uh, I mean, uh, percent. Okay, okay, because uh, I don't know how to get him back in his body, but I know how to turn the thing off. Which might help, might kill him, but might help. Well, let's try that. All right. You All right. Um, hey, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I, I, well, uh, without my, you know, I tell you what, just pick me up. Let me look at the thing. Sure. I'll pick him up. I'll face him towards oh, the God. thing and I'll unzip the bag. 
All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, it looks like it got turned on in the car uh, wreck. Uh, yeah, Rudy's. Mm, yeah. So, okay. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. You need a key to turn it off. All right. Uh, that key should be somewhere in that bag there. But now here, a little tricky, a little tricky. You want to try not to touch the machine when you find the key. All right. So just kind of root around in there. You got a mitt or something you can put on. Uh, I'll, oh, I'll get in the, the bag you were in. I'll get some dirty socks and put them on my hands. Oh, yeah. I'd wash that afterwards. I will. You. I will. All or right. I'll right. A just, professional around. Just, just stick your arm in there down to the elbow and just kind of root around. Just kind of, yeah. you know, you're looking for a kind of a heavy brass key in there. All right. oh, that's it. That's it. <laughs> All right. 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 All right. Now, uh, you want to stick that in the back of the machine. You want to crank it left, not right left all right put it in the That'll machine turn it off now i'm not sure your friend's gonna come out of there when it turns off i mean it might just kill him but it might let him out too you know I mean, what i mean how good of a friend is he really come on come on <laughs> he's good enough that i need to try all right i'll plug the key in and i'll turn it the direction he indicated <laughs> all right it is uh, at this yep. moment that Christian's thinking back about when he was shot at by a doppelganger <laughs> of Frank. I'm still in that mindset, like, oh, he'll die. We'll just get a new one of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, perfect, perfect. Uh, yeah, so you turn it off. Uh, machine powers down. Golden glow goes away. And Frank, you you take a take a breath. Your body hasn't taken a breath in a bit. Make me a stamina check. <laughs> All right, yeah. Uh, no, no brain cells more than the typical died. It's better You're than like, my <gasps> Take a big breath <laughs> as uh, Frank just starts uh, starts spasming on the floor there. He only lost a couple recipes. No, you can Frank. never forget those recipes. They're oh. just muscle memory. Can we use this as a weapon on the car? That's a good thought. Put it on the back. If someone's coming behind us, we just lift a, like a tarp from over it. All of a sudden, they're trapped in the thing. Shansi, strap it to my cod. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody understands magic balls like you, Fergie. Yeah, I was told it was some kind of uh, teaching device. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you know, if it helps. Is it Frank, are you, you smarter? Don't trust people? Am I smarter? <laughs> you ask out well, loud. Well, you have to ask. <laughs> I mean, I got sucked into the machine, so... I don't feel yeah. smarter. Uh, well, you, you guys have spent uh, essentially all afternoon uh, working on doing this, so you've got the... The driver back. Uh, eventually, they uh, they do. The brothers are bringing the body, uh, which is you know kind of fumbling mm -hmm. around. It's completely you know mobile, and it finds its head and sticks it back on, kind of screws it into place. And he's like, "Oh yeah, it's it's that's that's the stuff. That's just oh oh guys, you." He, he looks down into his pants. He's like, "Oh come on, guys!" And they're just kind of sniggering <laughs> out in the background. It's like. Every time, every time I lose my head, you shave down there. Every time. What's with that? <sighs> <laughs> kind of looks over at you, Christian. It's like, see, this is, this is why. This is why. This you is know, why. when you trim the shrubs, the tree stands taller. <sighs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. So we got a race. It looks like uh, they hired you chumps to help out, I guess. Uh, any of you drive? I'd rather not drive, but drive? Anybody? You know how to drive? Uh, we don't know. You, you, Listen, no. uh, we grew up in one building, one very large building where we were transported around by vacuum tubes. Uh, we don't know anything about driving. This is my first time seeing a car. What exactly did they hire you guys for? Uh, mostly to get you put back together and then go shill. Uh, Would you like to see the mounted turret on your car? Oh, that's actually pretty wicked. Whoa. Any of you can shoot this thing? Yes. Uh, I fired guns before. Speaking of that, kid, you did a great job with this fish. So I want to, I want to give you my gun. Ooh. <laughs> okay. 
so uh it's the in the journal under umerica items it's the uh the pistol high power oh okay oh jeez, that's be bigger <laughs> than she is <laughs> she's gonna have to two hand this thing all right gonna be like the noisy cricket okay yes so Chauncey has taken the, mm-hmm. the the buggy out for a drive. Uh, weapons seem to be working pretty good. You fire off a couple of rounds. You don't want to waste what ammo you have on here. Don't want to waste too much gas either. Um, again, tiny tank. Yeah. And uh, if you guys will go over to the racetrack. So this is the track that you're going to be working with. Never mind the trees. This is a, uh, mm. you know, traditional NASCAR style. Uh, no trees in there, but that's the track. That's the track. Um, Maybe there were trees once, but not yep. now. Yep. It's uh, the winner. It's three laps. The winner is the uh, last vehicle that can cross on it uh, on its own power. Three laps is going to be the winner. So he's. Uh, the brothers are walking you over the track to show you kind of what's going on. So the, like these, uh, the corners here where it kind of slopes. Uh, so they, it goes up like this kind of mm-hmm. slants. So if you're on the inside, you've got a shorter distance to travel. If you're on the outer side, it takes longer to get around a little bit. Um, so yeah, that's the track. They tell you that, uh, yeah, you've got to watch out. So the fan stands, uh, there's no rules against the fans trying to, to help out their favorite teams. A lot of times they lob grenades, uh, sometimes worse. You mm-hmm. got to watch out for that. Now, this is the unrestricted class, so you can you can fire out of the vehicles on your own. You can use any kind of vehicle mounted weaponry you want. Uh, the only real rule is, uh, uh, well, uh, there aren't any. Um, you can stick around in a driver's head if you can manage it. Um, you all read the disclaimers right anybody that goes on this car you know that if you're dead you're just gonna get pushed down to the meat grinders and probably end up at a buddy o's right yeah uh yeah yeah okay okay we're good on that we're yeah. good on that well <sighs> so none of you drive huh Mm-mm. Uh, all right all right that's all right. the entire um, reason why i fished you out of the river so you right, can i'll drive. drive i'll drive but i can't can't manage that beautiful weapon up there we got that. We'll take That's care of that. Some good work. That's some good work. What's your name? Chauncey. 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 You might be able to pick up some work around here. They. Uh, it's another way the track makes money. Is they do repairs on vehicles and. Uh, anyway, anyway, um, somebody's got to be able to shoot that thing. Otherwise, just dead weight. And uh, my brothers are idiots. Um, anybody feel like mount? You know. I'll I'll get on there. Oh, okay. Hey, figured, hey. I, uh, Hey, oh, oh, you're a nice model. Hey, how you doing? Yes, he oh, is. I'll say, I'll say uh, I, I think that maybe I would shoot the big gun. I like some very big anyway. And then maybe I make everything look nice and flashy as well. With the crowd on us. Yeah, I made yeah, razor wire yeah. tassels for him. Oh, Ooh. that's good. That's good. Costuming always wins over the fan. So I don't know. If, if my brothers told you exactly, they probably told you about the gate, right? More people that come in, you know, the more money there yep. is for the pot, the track gets a percentage, and then whatever you worked out with, how much did you take them for? Uh, Fergie, I, I forgot the number. Why don't you? Why don't you remind us? Oh, it was very fair. Pretty close to down the middle, I think. Uh, all right, you soaked them. Okay. Um, <laughs> All right, all right. Uh, okay, so here's the thing. Um, there are other prizes in this. Assuming that your uh, your team uh, finishes, like you actually get across the line. So first, second, and third place uh, get a split of the gate. All right. Um, finishing at all is important though, because there's a, there's a fan favorite thing that they do. Um, there's an extra. Well, it depends on the gate, of course, but anywhere from 100 to uh, upwards of 500, uh, you know, petrol off of a good, uh, you know, if, if you if you please the fans, you don't necessarily have to win. Sometimes sometimes the crowd pleasers make more than the gate. Mm. All right. Oh, wow. All right. So, Let's yeah, you guys can come up with some kind of theme. I mean, we can I take this buggy up real nice. 
I can be a pleaser. Oh, I, I, I bet you can. I bet you can. <laughs> you know, I had a brief relationship with one of your model before, and you know, she took me for everything I had, and I didn't mind. I, I really didn't mind. But, I like to yeah, think of Fergie I lived, as a I lived on death the streets blossom. for a couple of months, but I wouldn't do it. But I wouldn't take a do over. Wouldn't do it. Wouldn't do it. So yeah, yeah. Does your car have a name? Well, um, well, the brothers found this heap. I'm glad it actually rolls. I don't think they named it yet. All right, we got to come up with Chaucy. a cool name. We got to come up with a cool theme. Who's all going to be on the car? That's the question. You're driving. Yeah. Fergie's shooting the big gun. I would love to propose that we're going to have the big, beautiful Fergie in the middle of it with his blazing razor wire tassels as he shoots that glorious gun. I would like to think the death blossom because it's beautiful, but it emits death. Oh, Mary also suggests awesome. the Ferganator. <gasps> oh, the Ferganator is also good. I was going to say, if this is the Death Blossom, we got to speak with Australian accents because, like, a, a, an onion blossom from that one joint. Well, I'll tell you guys what. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Um, Blooming onion. That's it. Yeah, yeah. So, or the booming onion. The booming onion. If this goes off well, I mean, we're still going to make some money off this. Um, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'll pay for a, I'll, I'll pay for a little photo op. We'll get some people in here to take some pictures of uh, the car and whatever theme you want to go with. We'll splash it up on some, uh, some newsprint and uh, I'll pay some kids to put those flyers out. Might, uh, might help. Might help. It did say yeah. you were the brains the theme, of this operation. I think this the theme is, is basically just going to be me wearing a ridiculous costume slathered all over this thing. I think then we got to go with the Ferganator and we all got to go with, like, you know. Ferganator or the Fergie Pleaser? We, we, should, put, we should call it the Tickler or the Schwanstucker. <laughs> oh, oh, I got a great idea. Totally unrelated. But we could totally call our car the Bad Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> That's my vote. <laughs> Nice. Mm. Uh, You're welcome, so I tell everyone. you what, Fergie, you uh, designed the costume. He's just gonna go. So. Oh, I had one of those ones. We should probably call it the worst dragon to avoid issues. <laughs> the naughty wyvern. Yes. yes. The, the naughty wyvern. <laughs> there it is. That works. We also. call it the dragon verst, but spelled like oh, oh the dragon verst. <laughs> I love it. That's it. The dragon verst, as helmed by All the right. Ferganator. <laughs> nice. Uh, so. Fergie, you, you've uh, pulled out the armor you want, and you've got kind of uh, your artistic thing going on here. Make me a personality check. Let's see how how much, how well this comes off. You know, you, you have just so much to work with, but let's see what your style does to it. Hope okay, so you're, you're wanting me to roll it? Yeah, you roll a personality check. Let's see, let's see how how this comes off. Uh, let's see. Should I go ahead and throw my no die in there as well? You can. Yes. Because, uh, yeah. Yeah. Plus one. Plus D3. <laughs> I haven't rolled a good personality one yet. Okay. I mean, that's not bad. Um, it, it, you, you get it off, uh, with what you have to work with. It's not the exact thing you have envisioned, but it's not bad. So what I'm doing is I'm having you guys make a few rolls here and anything else you want to do, your characters want to do between uh, the rest of today and uh, tomorrow, it's going to build up how, what your, what the fan base is going to be like coming in. So that is a success. It's, it's a low success, but it is a success. So that'll go towards what I'm uh, kind of building up for a fan gate. Okay. So I'm kind of uh. thinking the costume stuff would be like sort of a very flashy kind of chromed out, apocalyptic leader hose sure so like and super tight shorts crotch sort of a uh, chastity belt thing and then like chain uh suspenders and then of course i've got my tassels that chauncey has made me. yeah and uh, uh i need some i need some livery i need some color on this because it's all metal so how can we color me up a little bit slob right up with some chaps. fish blood <laughs> fish blood dye 
so the same uh the same costume uh jimmy thompson's gonna have to wear too as the driver so uh it's all <laughs> themed up i'm looking nice. over at teeth and i'm and i'm like uh kind of uh thinking about the uh the crayons mm. oh Oh, sweet child, would you get the colors out and maybe add a little bit of a punch to us? Yes. yes. Yeah. Go I will yeah. do that. Make me a personality check there, Teeth. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> oh, look at that. Wow. Look at that. She's a whiz with the crayons. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I have a lot of crayons. I've had a lot of time to practice. <laughs> Wonderful. Taste. You're 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 all waxed up with the crayons now. Nice yeah. and beautiful colors. You got some um, gorgeous eyeliner. So, how yeah. many steps of armor is uh, Fergie wanting to put into what the uh, driver and uh, the gunner are going to be wearing? Well, we're going to be wearing kind of the 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 tight shorts, uh, chastity belt thing. Mm -hmm. um, the chains as kind of the uh, the suspenders. They're going to cross over us a couple times, just kind Correct. of. Like, in theory, the less you wear, the higher your armor value should be. Because it follows <laughs> RBG. <laughs> right. Yes. Right. Yeah. Um, I don't know about anything beyond that. I mean, we're just wearing the the kind of the. Okay. The, so I'd say either a D5 or a D6. Okay. Your, your choice. Um, we'll go with a D5. I wanted a little skimpy. Okay. Ooh. All right. Mm. D5 worth of armor. Um all right, this, as I said, this is all pretty feeble stuff that you have to work with. So uh, on a roll of one or a two, if you have to roll that armor die, it's going to degrade pretty quickly. But it looks good. looks fabulous. <laughs> That's all that matters. Mm -hmm. And uh, detachable head or not, uh, Jimmy Thompson is a good-looking guy. So uh, <laughs> good-looking mutant. <laughs> so he fills it out pretty well himself. All right. So, so, I'm, th so I'm thinking here. And and this is part of the deal it, with this is that um, I just need to make sure that my suspenders don't get in the way of my secondary arms, because my plan here is is my secondary arms are the ones I'm going to use to operate the turret with, yeah. which leaves my primary arms up higher to I don't know throw them in the air, rock and roll bullhorns, whatever I want to do. Nice, okay. play the okay. crowd, and don't forget Possibly. the grenades. Yeah. <laughs> don't forget the grenades. Maybe you can catch no them kisses. and throw them back. Um, so have we considered since there's no rules, so there's only going to be so many of us on the vehicle. Mm -hmm. What about the rest of us getting on something else like outside of the track and then yeah. trying to sabotage mm -hmm. as we go? Yeah. So, so that is like, yes, what are the other rules? Only, only the people that are paid to put vehicle on track can be on the track. But if you do something from outside the track, perfectly fine. Well, I also have another question. Um, number one, Frank, I know normally you somehow summoned forth your sludge. Is there any chance that your patron might let you summon forth sugar for sustenance? Oh, mm. oh, I know what you're doing. Yes. I think that's going to be a Bert question. Uh, certainly. If you can, uh, if you can make that roll, sure. Your okay. gruel just happens to be super sugary. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I also okay, okay, I forgot to tell you all. The dude that we talked to to get into the thing to to get the car in the head, uh, he gave us some lowdown on the other vehicles. Mm -hmm. One group's driving a goddamn tank. Mm-hmm. Just get away from them. The other group has a like a mammoth, like a giant creature. Mm -hmm. And the other one has a little tiny bike with no armor that's super fast and these giant killer laser weapons that don't ever let them behind you. I'd love to Just put killed. something in their gas tank. That. Yeah, I mean, best case, that's a good idea. The other thing is we just give this all to the, the mamma thing, and maybe we give it, you know, the beatus. <laughs> <laughs> just slip a bunch of it into its... Uh, into its Mam mammoth beatus. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't know what you do after that. Um, oh, these beers are hitting me good tonight. <laughs> you need to find a good doctor. You could, uh, you could go fish out another one of those lamprey things and just kind of shove it up into the mammoth. I wondered, um, and this might be a stretch about casting sanctuary on the car. Ooh, okay. Uh, let's see. Whoa. What does sanctuary say? 
um sanctuary it's a first level right yeah that's yeah. all you it can might, cast it so. might be a stretch to cast it on the car so mm-hmm. oh wait is that a numerican one no uh, no DCC. that's no, it's a dcc DCC. okay cleric spells level one holy sanctuary okay let's see I'm going to say that it can't be, it can't move. Like you're creating holy okay. ground, basically. So I, it's not going to work by doing it on the car. I wasn't sure if I could like yeah. cast on the floorboard of the car. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. uh, I tell you what, I mean, I'll allow it if you get a, a really good result. Okay. We'll we'll do food first to see if we can do sugar, and then if I don't just wreck that, then we'll see if I can do holy sanctuary. Make uh, make Jamie come and roll holy sanctuary. <laughs> it does mean that you have to be on the car, though. I oh. have to be on the, okay. Yeah, because it says uh, the caster and their allies. Mm-hmm. So, like, okay. you got to be on the car. Okay. Well, I'll feel it out when I do it then. Mm-hmm. If I feel like it's a dud, then I won't get on the car. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll see about making sugar for us first. Sure. Oh, 20. That, that's actually wow, a, that's a lot of sugar. Uh, yeah. So Buddy O uh, transports you down like uh, five 50 pound bags of sugar. <laughs> Buddy O knows the amount of concessions that are about to be consumed in it. Please. Oh, we, we got enough to put sugar in the tanks and the mammoth. <laughs> yeah, all right. There you go. And then Not I can only play that diabetes pleases your God. <laughs> it's going to be diabetes at this rate. <laughs> Oh, you know what? You know what? No, no, no. It's, it's not bags of sugar. What it is, is it's boxes of pure syrup. That's what it is. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> non we'll have enough. We'll have so much food seasoning even after this. <laughs> Wonderful. So we just swap it out with some of their fuel. And who cares if we have to do more pit stops? We just ruin their fuel supply. Okay. Well, uh, you were told the names of the groups, so like bad news. And if you look around, there's a lot of these little garages just like all over the inside of the raceway here. Mm. Um, so if you take a little casual stroll around while people are racing uh, on the strip and just uh, working on things, you do you do locate them. So like uh, bad news is further down the track, f- fair away from you. They're not there, but you see their emblem over one of the garages and the door's down. It's bolted mm-hmm. and chained. Uh, you find the Stranglers. Uh, and Their enormous tank is like, it's too big to fit inside the actual garage. So it's like just parked right out front. They're also, um, it sounds like they're inside because you can hear music coming out from inside. Mm-hmm. And uh, it sounds like you see like empty beer cans just littered all the way <laughs> around the outside. And uh, you see the garage uh, for the Turtle Gang. Uh, they're not there, but you kind of look in, and the whole inside of the garage is just a whole bunch of hay that's just been thrown out uh, mm-hmm. on the ground, like uh, like litter. <laughs> Mounds of tightly coiled scat <laughs> here and there. <laughs> mm. it, is Keith fairly sneaky? Oh, uh, I thought you said Keith. And I was like, wait, who's Sorry, Keith? Keith. Who's Keith? No, you're good. Um, my agility is 15. Okay. I think but. maybe let's let's swap out some gas tanks, maybe. Uh, a little in. Uh, does, I don't yeah. think Keith knows what a gas tank is. Oh, right. I mean, good none point. of us do. Chauncey does. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you can try and show me and I'll assist. Yes. Yes. But you must do it quietly. Tiptoe, tiptoe. So who are you going not. after? Like the tank that's just sitting out there, no one mm. evident, although it sounds like they're inside, but it's in the open? Or do you want to break into Bad News's garage? Who's got the, so, the, the the little speedy one that we... That's Bad News. Yeah, that's the... News. Yeah, the garage is all closed up and chained up. 
I'm a I'm a little more concerned about bad news. Yes. Yeah, I don't want to deal with people. Uh, I'm not I, a cute kid. You know, <laughs> I don't have that going for me. <laughs> I'll reach over and kind of pat her on the head and be like, "Oh, you're a tiny, just wonderful child." Yeah, and then I kind of pull my hand. And she's like, just like <sighs> white grime or whatever it is. Off of my <laughs> yeah, wonderful child. <laughs> Yeah, we could potentially um, split and do both. Much better than the last child we dealt with, yeah. But if somebody's tiny enough to like maybe sneak in, I, I thought it might be teeth. To bad news. Maybe. I'll try it. If they got a little window or something, you can just crawl through it. Yeah, so the uh the little garage is it's a middle garage. Mm-hmm. So they're one on either side. Um, it's got a roll down door. It's, it's got a padlock and a chain. You don't see any windows on it, but the top of it does have like one of these heat exhaust things and an air conditioning pod. Okay. We can like yeet you up onto the roof and, or, or maybe there's a ladder somewhere else. And I mean, I could try story, and just so, you know, scramble up tall. there. Yeah. Christian can probably just like, Put me on top. Like so the front of the garages are facing the track, and there's not a ton of people around, but there are people around. Around back, though, um, it's just the the bleachers that are empty right now, and the back end of the wall that keeps us away from the rest of the city. So, you know, looking around, uh, it'd be really obvious if there were anybody in the stands, but they're empty right now. Mm. Uh yeah, I'll go like the side where the stands and stuff are. Okay. I so believe to try you. for the roof. Thank you for doing the difficult job. Well, I do the easy job. Yeah, if you want, I can toss you. Uh, can you set me on there? Or I can just set you on there. Sure, that's you, boring. Or talk, but okay, yeah. You know, we're trying to be quiet. You know, okay. I'll probably land like a rock. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I can set you on there. Goofy rock. Yeah. So Christian's pretty big, so I'd say that, yeah, you can just put yeah. her up on the roof. That's fine. So it's Christian and Teeth. Anyone else back there, or are you kind of, is everyone else doing other yeah. things? I'm I'm hoping to maybe go off and go do the other vehicle. Okay. Okay. So you gave her, like, one of the box of syrup? Is that mm-hmm. what she's got? Yeah. All right. What's uh, Fergie and Frank doing? I'm just working on my costume. <laughs> okay. Okay. I mean, we'll say that you're getting the photo go. op right now, actually. You've got yeah. your costume on. Mm-hmm. Um, Seducing the masses. Jimmy Thompson's got his costume on. You're just doing, you know, mug shots on the, uh, you know, he's, he's reclining across the hood of the buggy. And <laughs> you're on the back with the gun. Yeah. And if they're I taking could find like, a guitar right. anywhere, Maybe. I would yeah. have Tom <laughs> Just show some of your dragon first. Mustang or something. On yeah, that. there you go. <laughs> Maybe Perfect. while they're doing their photo op, we can have Fergie Burgies uh, as a promotional item. Oh, Ooh, draw oh. people away. Oh my God. You're so smart. That's great. That's actually pretty good. I tell you what, uh, go ahead and try to create some food again and, uh, you know, give out promotional burgers. Sure. If that doesn't work, you can use the fish that I caught because we haven't um, yeah, done anything nice. with that yet. Fergie fish fry. I mean, I yeah, know. like we don't need to eat again today. We already had one good meal. So mm-hmm. yeah, we got- just have Phallic sticks of oh, fish. Wait, so the mammoth thing, right? The dude told us in that fucking that snake. Oh, I'm not supposed to curse you. That sack. snake thing. <gasps> There's the poison <laughs> sack. <gasps> there nice. is. We forgot oh about the God. poison sack. Yeah, so you make cut a, that out and fucking oh, uh, just put, put it put in it, some of the sugar. Yeah, and let it eat it. <laughs> All yeah. right, so Frank, you thing create a platter of burgers. It's not a huge amount, yeah. but there's not a lot of people <clears throat> around either. So if you want to go out and do some promotional, that will count uh, to help you at the gate. So that okay. that is a success. Uh, you just you just didn't create enough for it to go on too long, but it still helps. All right, so Fergie burgies. Yeah, there we go. Um, the photo op with uh, Fergie and Fergie and Jimmy Thompson are also it's going to help the gate as well. He's going to get those flyers out with your mugs all over them and all this uh, nice branding going on. So teeth, let's see what happens here. So you're on the roof. 
Okay. So there's just one of these uh, kind of roundish air handlers with the, the fan that just uh, kind of just circulates air. Um, the hole is big. If you were to pull it off, the hole is big enough for you to drop down in. Okay. Or you can, there's no, uh, there's no other access up here other than that though. Uh, yeah, then I'll do that. Okay. Um, you do, uh, unless you're just going to brute force it, you got to kind of figure out how to take this piece of tech off. So I want an unskilled roll for you to do it without basically just tearing it off. <laughs> a D10, isn't it? It's a D10, right. Okay. Uh, if you have an intelligence modifier, it would be added onto this. Okay, I do have a plus one. Okay. I'm telling you, Teeth is actually brilliant. She just has yeah. you know, this dental problem. <laughs> Yeah, Teeth is going to be our new leader. Oh, man, I feel so slighted here. Um, you don't get it off perfectly well. You end up getting frustrated with it and tearing it off at the, the very end. So it's not going to work when you put it back. But you didn't make a lot of noise. So now okay. you've got this hole that you can drop down into. And um, Chaucey, explain to me what you told Teeth about how to put it in a gas tank. Okay. Do you see, he, and like he would have used their own car. Lefty, Lucy, righty, tidy. Lefty, Lucy, take it off, pour the syrup in. Righty, tidy, put it on, and then we're gonna win. <laughs> Trying to do it like a little limerick thing. That's amazing. <laughs> awesome. Uh, so you're running this through your head, teeth, and it, you got you were pretty sure you got the rhyme down good. But when you get down in here, you see that the bike doesn't have wheels; it's floating in the air. You don't see any cap that you can unscrew to put the syrup in. Okay. And you see all kinds of flashing doodads here and there. There's levers and there's buttons and there's in the back of it. There's these like really big things that look like metal flower pots pointing out, and it's got what you're pretty sure is this enormous gun that's up underneath of it with the, um, the front point, you know, putting forward, but you're not seeing any kind of cap that you can unscrew. Improvise. <laughs> can I something? Yeah. Can I just look for any sort of like. There's slots on the side. Uh huh. You want to just pour it <laughs> into the slots? I know. Cause I don't want it to be too obvious. Mm-hmm. Um, I, <laughs> um, no, that's too obvious. Can I do just like an intelligence roll to see if I can find a good place to like put it into? Sure. Okay. Well, you find um, a few slots that look like if you pour it in there, it's it, it's not going to just pour out of the bottom. Like it's going to stay inside there. So you you don't know if it's actually going to foul it up or not because it doesn't look like it has like a, a conventional engine. But you take the syrup and how much of it do you use? Like this is imagine one of those syrup boxes that they use with the uh, the, the CO two to make cola with. So it's like okay. a box of the syrup. You want to use the whole box? You want to use Part well, of it, how many how bikes are there? Just the one. Oh, just the one? Just one. Um, I'll probably do like half. Okay. So because I pour... I'll I'll pour and because I don't I'm gonna watch to make sure none like comes yeah. out so it's not obvious. And then I also want to see the rest. <laughs> maybe. Um, <laughs> if I can um uh like put some pebbles into something to like maybe like <laughs> drop some rocks in some of the holes yeah sure. yeah. yeah and like just fine. other holes and stuff and like I just start stuffing things like I'm a little pack rat so I'm like finding rocks and I'm putting rocks in there okay sure uh, okay yeah that sounds good so what I'm gonna do is that twelve that you rolled I'm gonna use that as a modifier for them. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that's how badly you're able to sabotage it. And uh, you crawl back out. Uh, Christian, she hops off. Uh, so I leap teeth, like a monkey actually, onto his it, back. It, can, can anyone actually tell if teeth is male or female or are you just like so much hair and teeth that it's impossible you to tell? You can't tell. You can't tell. Okay. So no. teeth is just teeth. jumps off the roof. 
lands on you, Christian, and you you guys are off. Uh, Chaucy, what were you doing during this? So Frank's made burgers, handing out flyers, talking up your team. Fergie's got the photo yeah. op. <laughs> Christian and Teeth have done some sabotage. What are you doing, Chaucy? I was bravely taking on the other sabotage mission for the vehicle that was completely unguarded. Okay, uh, what do you want to do to sabotage the tank? And again, you can hear like the turrets open, and you can hear music coming from mm-hmm. inside. Occasionally, you'll see a crumpled up beer can, flaw, you know, thrown out. Mm-hmm. But the music's pretty loud. Um, it, is it visible to see where the fuel tank on this vehicle would be? Uh, if, well, it is actually I'm... a treaded tank. Um, mm-hmm. I tell you what, give uh, give me a tinker roll. Okay, a vehicle-based one, I assume? Yeah. Okay. D20 intelligence uh, and the skill bonuses you have for the... Uh, I've got vehicle basic. repair, if that... Oh, that'll... Yeah, 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 that would work. Nice. Wow. Awesome. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> for whatever reason, Chauncey remembers seeing a schematic for a tank once in the uh, Fantastiplex. Uh, I mean, this is a little archaic compared to the blueprint you saw, but yeah, Mm -hmm. you know everything. You know where the gas goes, you know how the propulsion works, you know where the air vents are, you know where the ammo loads from, all of it. What do you want to do? Fill up all the important parts. (laughs) Well, I wish I could steal something from this beautiful thing, but more importantly, I'm going to just sabotage its ability to run. I'm going to sabotage its fuel. Could you sabotage something from it? I don't know if, if, so the first object is to make it not run well. Yeah. Secondary priority is weapons. Okay. Um, all right. Well, let's do the sabotage so it doesn't run well first. So go ahead and make me another check. The first one was just to know what you knew about the yeah. tank. You know yeah. everything about the tank. So make this roll. You can take a plus two on it since you know you've seen the schematics for this exact tank before. Cool. So vehicle repair again, then? Vehicle repair, plus two. Okay, I'll just roll it, and then we'll just add, throw a plus two on the end. <clears throat> wow. Okay, so I'm going to take that. I'm going to put it in as a modifier when they try and start the thing. Now, that was one of two things you want to do. So after this first one, uh, one of the occupants actually does kind of climb out, and uh, it's an alien gray. So it's got this big, bulbous head, huge uh, eyes, an itty-bitty neck itty bitty spindly fingers and he comes up to the edge and he just tosses his butt over the edge of the thing and it starts crapping down the side of the tank um please don't all right uh he looks around he's got a beer in one hand he's got a whole roll of toilet paper that he's got a turned into a mitten on his other hand and he looks around over at you he sees you he's like You get a little close here. Why don't you admire it by fight like at least five feet away, buddy? You humans just stink the place up. Of course, I'm just. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, this food does not agree. Oh, it just projects. Well, I'm leaving. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> oh. oh. Yeah. Yeah. You're looking at the, you're looking at the winners here, buddy. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Splatters all over the place again. I winners, I tell you. Uh, he falls off the back of the tank and just lands in his own gunk. <laughs> Is he unconscious afterwards? Uh, yeah, actually, he knocks himself <laughs> out <laughs> face down in the poo. <laughs> <laughs> okay so this you is where tell, i feel you tell like, that he's a hardcore drinker though because he okay. does not let go of the beer mm. so this is yeah. where jeremy as a human being either. feels terrible Down for saying do. this but chauncey is a horribly chaotic human being uh is going to suffocate him on his own poo while he's back oh out. <laughs> that's against one of the city oh rules God. No, it's not, because he fell himself it was an and he burst accident. into his poo. You're going to do it. It's not a question of whether or not you murder this gray and cold, you know, green blood that he is uh, or not. It's a question of whether or not anyone sees you do it. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> make me a luck check. Um, 
Could I assist, perhaps? Oh, you're not there. You're no, you're but I mean, <laughs> elsewhere, I want to try sugar for the first time. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> I succeed by two. Okay. Okay, you succeed by two. I, I tell you what, I, I like this, Teeth. I like this. So you take a big old gulp of this pure syrup, you know, pure syrup. Make me a stamina check. Just, okay. you know, just What have I done? 18. <laughs> Um, actually, it uh, it doesn't affect you that bad. It's just oh, you're, no. you're jittery. You know, this is like this is the pure syrup from uh, highly caffeinated soda without anything to cut it. You're jittery. You, you your eyes are just huge. You're just looking around everywhere, and then you just can't take it anymore. You just start. You just run out yeah. onto the track <laughs> with all these cars whizzing by at incredibly high speeds. Um, and you just. Ah! Um, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a reflex check does help, uh, though. It does distract some people. Seven. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh no. Right. Do I get hit by car? <clears throat> Let's look at the vehicular manslaughter lure. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Okay, so let's, <laughs> let, let's see what speed the car is going. Okay, let's, let's I'm just see. over on the side. Jeez, look at how fast she runs. <laughs> speed four. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, right, not fast, right. Not faster than the car. <laughs> <laughs> Killing a child would be a freaking distraction. <laughs> oh, you can play four. one of the brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Plus 3d4 ram collision damage bonus okay so 3d4 you're a soft target though i only have six <sighs> hp so <laughs> depending i'm gonna die <laughs> <sighs> oh, i love it all right oh. <laughs> sorry <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> teeth has teeth has a sister. I'll make her up real quick. Her name's Clavicle. Clavicle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd Ashley, say work. I love you. I'd say work. Five standing. points of damage. Still, alive. oh, I'm still alive. Yeah, a uh, car takes a glancing hit at you, and you just bounce off it like a beach ball, and you're just thrown into the grass, off to the side, rolling. First time you've experienced, you ever see like a cat that has its first experience with a car zooming by it real fast? That's you. Yeah. Oh. I'm like covered in hair. So you don't yeah. know if I'm a boy or a girl and it just all goes on end. And like suddenly I'm running back to you guys on all fours. Like I'm a horse or something. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. that's wonderful. Yeah, I got clipped by a car. So she's all bloody off one okay. side and i think that's I a good place uh well that's a good place to stop it guys so you guys have done okay. uh you've done some uh <laughs> some how publicity <laughs> fergie uh fergie got some great glamour shots that have been put on to uh splashed up on a billboard and xerixed off thousands of copies uh, that are being handed out frank is uh giving out uh buddy o's best uh on a silver tray as he goes and talking about your new crew. What's the name? What's the name of your crew? And they would have to put that on the flyer. So what are we calling yourselves? What was the name of the car? The dragon first. Or I mean, the, I, or the verse. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> the worst. What's the worst that could happen? I don't What's know. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Uh, all, right, all right, I like it. The so, uh, so, so, the so Frank and Fergie have uh, gotten some publicity going. Chauncey has uh, killed one of the two drivers of a car <laughs> and uh, did some sabotage. Uh, Teeth has done some sabotage. Uh, Christian helping T uh, Teeth. Did, did you do something else? I helped Christian. Up. I pretty much I just yeah, lifted right, her up right. and then catched her. As okay, so she we, we stacked some our driver here. too. Yeah, yeah, there's that. So we stack some modifiers here. You guys will have uh, basically the next day to do anything else you want to do, and then it'll be race time. Well, and, mammoth. Uh, we're actually going to do the uh, the vehicle rules on this track here. Um, so if you guys want to be thinking about whoever's not on the car, what you want to be doing out in the stands or otherwise to help out. 
Heath wants mm. absolutely nothing to do with cars now <laughs> or sugar. <laughs> all right, Done so with cars. Heath is out from there. Who's all in the car? We know who's driving. We know oh, that Fergie is going to be the gunner, the the gunner on the big turret. Mm -hmm. yeah, might be in. It's not a big vehicle. It's like a little dune buggy. So I'm kind of imagining driver at front, um, me in back, kind of yeah. standing up wherever the turret is. But the back's probably mostly open roll cage. It is. Yeah. That's exactly kind of what it is. So, there and but but like, there is a passenger seat up front. I think so Frank would be good Frank. for a shotgun like Jeremy said, because Frank can cast spells and shit. Mm-hmm. Do you have, okay. have the cod piece of the thing that can like suck people's <laughs> yeah. consciousness that, that into it? I, I, I like, think almost like a belt buckle right at the top of my kind of. <laughs> okay, okay, I dig and it. I don't even know if I'm immune to it, right? Because I'm a robot, so I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Yeah, you don't look the, into the, it. The mission don't. that we got. Do not stare to food. Yeah, we're just Fergie's gonna attach. Crotch. Yeah, attach to Fergie's crotch so he can. Do yeah. not look directly into Fergie's crotch. Fonzie's <laughs> well, the only yeah. one that I'm concerned about. I think, I think that was be, a rule already. Maybe. I think I'm just going to be like in the stands, just like hurling large rocks at the other vehicles as they come by. <laughs> You'll be in good company. Yes, yeah, mostly what they do in the stands. <laughs> there we go. There we go. All right. Nice. So we have that petrol that we got. We could make some <laughs> Molotov cocktails with those uh, tube socks. Yep. We could, yeah. That could be a good thing mm -hmm. for us to set up. So that way you got, you know, oh, yes. some fire bombs to throw. So oh, something else to think, think is something tails. good for you. So something else to think about is that your vehicle has to make three laps. And you figured that essentially you're going to have to stop after the second lap to refuel if you don't do anything about uh, the fuel um, tank. I could probably um, do some work on the fuel tank. Yep. Well, the, the idea of just having the cans and pouring in it as you go would work fine too. But mm -hmm. just something to think about. You will have to stop after the second lap to refuel to get through the third lap. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you give them the cans or Chauncey, if you want to work pit crew. I mean, if you need help, I could help you or I could throw rocks. I'm great with either. either that or we have an <laughs> ultimately dangerous while we're driving fuel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes. So, what if we just put a really, 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 really tall open cylinder in the back, pour all the petrol in it, and just have it like burning off from the top while it's also draining down into the fuel tank at the bottom? <laughs> that would look like cool. I said, <laughs> ultimately like, dangerous. Mad Max, where like the top of the fuel tank is open and on fire, and the bottom of the fuel tank is dumping into the fuel tank live as we go. That's cool. No matter what, I, I will say, I would like to set aside just a little bit of fuel. Uh, I would love to create that th for the car piece. I want just a small, for the victory lap, just a little bit of like uh, a fuel to be able to pump from your pelvis and then ignite. <laughs> <laughs> you do a pelvic doof as That's, you win. It's like minor, minor, uh, uh, minor Klein uh, flamethrower. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. That's well, so let's end it there on these uh, classy, classy notes. Uh, <laughs> Daniel, you got anything you want to plug? Oh, my gosh. I mean, just check out everybody here. I mean, check, hop on our Discord sometime. Uh, I don't know if I, I can't paste any links, so I can just say words. Um, check out our Discord. Check out everybody here. Good stuff. Thanks. Jeremy. Uh, sometimes we do comic book stuff. Plutecast, P-L-E-W-D. Why not? Eddie? Uh, same as Dan. I'm where I'm part of the Defenders. So if you want to check out any of the stuff we do, if you want to come back and see more of this, please come back and see more of this. This is <laughs> so much fun. I love this character. But yeah, other than that, just the same thing. Just any of these other wonderful, fantastic, amazing, super people, go check out their stuff. Please, please, please. Ashley, you got anything? Uh, I hang out with uh, the Lolly Yaggers, uh, twitch.tv slash the Lolly Yaggers. Friday, we play Delta Green. Uh, Mondays they alternate between Alien and Things from the Flood on Free League Publishing Channel. Chuck, yeah, Twitch.tv slash Defenders of Cobalt. Uh, what do we got? Sunday tomorrow, uh, 9 p.m. Central on Defenders. We're going to be doing our Salt Marsh campaign. Uh, like Ashley mentioned, but um, Monday night, 9 p.m. Central on Twitch.tv slash Free League Publishing. Uh, we're doing Things from the Flood, so you can catch. Uh, Bert, Jeremy, Dan, and myself 
playing a bunch of teenagers in a desert town trying to survive. Um, making good decisions. Making good decisions. This coming Wednesday, <laughs> we're going to be doing our next session of Rhyme of the Frostmaiden, but we're using the Weird Frontier system. So if you like DC, uh, DCC and you like Weird West, go check that out. Once again, Bert, Jeremy, Dan, myself, uh, and this coming Friday night, uh, Joe is going to be continuing our BFRPG game. So Dan, myself, Eddie, uh, playing some BFRPG, you know, some good old OSR type stuff. So that's that's what we got for the week. Sometimes nice. very, nice. very different feel from this stuff, but uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, so uh, action. you find me on twitch.tv slash steam steel murder. Um, we do Tuesday nights, first edition Dungeons and Dragons, Friday nights, BX Dungeons and Dragons. Um, Sundays is kind of a toss up. We've got a shadow run using various systems going on mm -hmm. and uh, alternating to that. Just whatever's fun. This Sunday is probably going to be Gamma World second edition. And if you uh, if you like this crazy adventure, uh, subscribers to my channel, this is the adventure you will get in April. Uh, this nice. is my own. Uh, so the, the write-up will be in my April subscribers yeah. uh, newsletter. Oh, that's rad. That's awesome. awesome. This, yeah, that's, that's awesome. fantastic. You should... Go sub to Steam Steel Murder because this has been a fucking blast. Oh, I've been a blast. Yes. <laughs> Bird is pretty much the best. Yeah. That's the Bird's bottom the line. Best. That's, the, yeah. that's the important thing. Yeah. And, and Chuck just gets foul the more he drinks. So there uh, we go. Yeah, so just say goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>